Welcome to my air pruning hydroponics video. Basically, it's a modified Dutch buckets hydroponic system. First, the rail support system for the five gallon buckets. I constructed the rail system out of two by fours and two by threes and allow for a three inch drain pipe down the middle. The slight height differential will allow for drainage back to the control bucket. I uh, attached the uh, 2x3s, the inside portion, to the 2x4s with just simple uh, wood screws. Just taking a uh, mark to, uh, for the spacer that goes uh, below the uh, horizontal 2x3 rail. So I had to measure out uh, 66 and a half inches to cut the top rails, the four top rails, for a total length of 133 inches. Here is what the completed rail support system take, looks like. And just a brief shot of how the uh, bucket, five gallon bucket looks like when it's sitting on the rails. I added two two by three uh, supports to join the two top rails. I've included the, uh, measure, the exact measurements of, for the three rail supports for your information. So I made the uh, following graphic to make it a little easier to understand of what, exactly what I was doing with the rail support. Um, the, I basically used 2x3s for the rails and 2x4s. I used uh, 2x3s because they were cheaper than 2x4s and I don't think I needed that heavy duty wood to support the uh, buckets. The outside supports are 2x4s, uh, the blue on the inside of the uh, rail support. Is, or I used two by threes. Um, the height of nine and a half inches is basically to the top of my uh, control bucket. The next graphic here is of the middle support. So as you can see, the uh, the, the purple two by three on the inside is uh, ten inches high. Um, it's in, it increased by half an inch over sixty six and a half inches. So not that much, but this is just to allow to uh, drainage back to the control bucket. The furthest support from the control bucket is at 10 and a half inches, so it's only one inch basically differential from that this support all the way down to the control bucket. And the final graphic is of how the uh, system will look with the five gallon bucket on top, the whole uh, drainage hole in the middle down to a three inch PVC drain pipe. To provide for extra stability, I ripped some 2x4s and attached them to the uh, ends, to each of the brackets actually, um, with this one here on the inside so that they can be pushed up against each other. Next, how I prepared the 5 gallon buckets for the uh, rails. Standard 5 gallon bucket, up close, little nib. I'm using a uh, three-quarter inch uh, top hat grommet. You notice that it's notched out in the side so that when it lays at the bottom of the bucket, it will drain completely. The internal integrity of the grommet is not uh, compromised by adding this notch to it.
covered the buckets in uh, panda film, the white uh, on the outside and the black on the inside to prevent algae growth in the bucket. Continuing with uh, last year's design, you'll see that I used a two and a half inch uh, PVC pipe with an end cap that can be uh, tightened and removed, makes it easier for cleaning. I just drilled some holes in the top uh, for the drain back to the control bucket. I also put in a half inch PVC with, with three sixteenths of an inch feed lines. I did modify the design for the uh, half inch PVC uh, feed lines in that I put a T at the other end so that it would go in a loop and that provided more equal pressure to all the uh, feed lines. So I uh, used a YouTube user uh, called Air Pruning Hydroponics, his design for the uh, suspended uh, two gallon fabric grow pots. His, his design was uh, suspending the uh, two gallon uh, grow bag using S hooks. Just use a punch to punch through the fabric pot. Uh, cut a hole in the lid, drill some uh, small holes around it to uh, insert the S hook into it and voila, you have a suspended air pruning hydroponics. So this year I decided to change the design slightly in that I'm using the uh, 10 inch net pots instead of the uh, suspended S hook style that uh, air pruning hydroponics did. I find the uh, 10 inch net pots to be uh, much more stable. And so I also uh, changed from uh, clear tubing to uh, black poly tubing for the drain. So I decided to make, uh, instead of having the 3 sixteenths feed lines come in as a single hose, I decided to make a simple ring using uh, a T, uh, as you can see here. So I just made it, I think, about 9 inches in length. Just turned it, inserted one end, and attach it to the other part of the T and now the feed line coming off the PVC pipe goes into the uh, top of the T and then I just drilled four holes on one side of the pipe not all the way through because then it will spray up you want it to uh, obviously just spray downwards For last year's design, I had one single tote for that rail. So I figured that with two rails, I should probably have two large totes. I connected the totes uh, with a pipe, um, a uniseal on uh, both ends to uh, make sure it doesn't leak. It seems to be not leaking so far. Um, so the two uh, three inch drain pipes come down. I connected them up um, they go into the uh, further bucket and then uh, gets recirculated with the pump in the uh, closer bucket I add the nutrients into the further bucket and mix them up there and give them plenty of time to mix before they are pumped up into the five gallon buckets I put a uh, float valve into the uh, further bucket that's connected by uh, three sixteenths inch tubing to my outdoor water barrels so 
here are the water bells on the uh, outside of the greenhouse. I had to wrap the uh, one closest in uh, white panda film because it was getting way too hot. It's also facing directly in the south sun. The barrels are connected at the top, so I just have to put the hose into the first one and it will uh, fill up the other ones. And all three are connected together uh, at the bottom too. So I used a bit of uh, black poly pipe, um, punched a hole in it and put a connector in to allow for the 3 6 inch uh, feed tube to uh, hook up to, on the inside of the greenhouse to the control bucket's uh, float valve. This keeps the uh, water level constant and I don't even really need to worry about uh, pH adjustments. So now here I am uh, attaching, I just slip the uh, ring over top of the plant and uh, push it down, wiggling it gently back and forth into the hydroton um, so that it uh, basically sets on top of the perlite. I did add uh, panda film on top uh, of the whole system so that it'll uh, reflect the sun because it seemed the hydroton was heating up a lot. Here we have the plants two weeks after uh, transplanting. Uh, the, this rail here mainly contains uh, Japanese hybrids uh, for saucing, a couple of cherries near the very end. In this rail I have more Japanese hybrids called meaty tomatoes, basically large golf, balls, golf ball sized tomatoes similar to uh, Campari sized varieties. And in this uh, third rail, I have more Japanese hybrids, Momotaro, large pink, and uh, large red called Reika. Five weeks after transplanting, and I had to let the strings down to provide more uh, top space for the plant to continue to grow. Here are the, uh, on the right hand side are the Japanese hybrids, the sauce ones, and on the left, the meaty tomatoes, Kampari type. Here is the uh, third rail containing the Japanese Momotaro, the large pink, and the large red Deika.